if not if it was not active. Anyway, using spider properties of a growing pollen, we can we can prepare, we can design some uh, spider catalyst. And now that I would like to talk something about conversion of CO2 and the biomass. We know that you see we now we are using fossil resource that is not renewable. How to use CO2 and uh, biomass? How to change them, convert them into chemical fuel and the materials? That is a very interesting topic. That is very, very important for sustainable development of our society. That also, just like me said, is dealing with the solution because reaction. When we design some uh, catalyst, when we carry out reaction, we that is re actually that is solution. The intermolecular interaction in the reaction system is uh, very important is uh, for controlling the reaction. I gave some example here. I, first, I would like to give the example about uh, uh, conversion of CO2. Actually, people have done this, you see, this reaction for many years, but they use they use uh, micro catalyst, but using a liquid because a liquid they have hydrogen bonding, first of all interaction. More important that they they have electro uh, synthetic uh, interaction here is from here. So in a liquid, so we can use a liquid as both solvent and the catalyst, and the reaction can be conducted at solvent free condition. That means using a liquid by special interaction, we can replace metal catalyst here, and we are also do some theoretical calculation. I only give conclusion here, you see, we found that the titan and iron cooperate very well for promoting this reaction. That is the re reason why we don't need metal for this reaction. And uh, another example for solvent effect, you see, we, we know that solvent effect is a very important for chemical reaction for uh, material synthesis. And here I give a couple of examples for uh, solvent effect. The first is that, you see, we know that CO2 hydrogenation, you see, we convert CO2 into all powers. But that is, uh, we can get the methanol, it's much easier, but if we can, if we get larger alcohol, that is more difficult. Usually selectivity is very low. For example, we design this catalyst, we try a number of organic solvents, but the selectivity only 23%. Using the same you see, catalyst, we only change that into water. You see, the selectivity could be higher than 80%. That means water, the special interaction with CO2, and that can enhance the selectivity of the desired product. So that is, that means selectivity can be controlled by solvent effect by intermolecular interaction. We also know that, you see, for, I think you see for electrical chemical reaction reduction of CO2, actually for Professor Wang, Tianjin Wang, they have done some very good work. We also do some work because in the future we can get more and more renewable electricity. And if we can change them into fuel, change them into chemical, change them into materials, that is, uh, I think that is an uh, interesting uh, area in the future and recently people have done a number of work, very interesting work on this, and we do some work on this. This I give this example because, you see, I know, we, I just want to show the ele electrolyte is very important. For example here, you see, actually the efficiency depends on electrolyte and the catalyst, and depend on the company. For this, this example, you see, we only we use very cheap metal, and we we change electrolyte. You see here, we can get very high efficiency. For example, here, here this is uh, you see, you see, we use lead here. You see, if we only use a liquid, 
the current density only about three. But if we add some organic solvent, it, it increases to about 10. If we add 5% of water to be, the current density can increase from 3 to 40. That means the ternary electrolyte is very suitable for this reaction. It's only by using very cheap catalyst by select, by choose, by design some electrolyte, we can enhance the efficiency of uh, this chemical reaction for uh, reduction of CO2 to okay. only highly. And uh, why you see Same. this composition, this ternary uh, liquid uh, base uh, electrolyte is very, very uh, efficient. So we do some work on microstructure and conductivity and uh, charge transfer and something like that. I can give okay, uh, some, you see here, I, I, I can conclusion here because we, uh, I want to finish my lecture uh, in shorter time, you see here, because at this composition, you see, the, you see, the solution, you see here, has small, smallest solvent size and the easier charge transfer to, uh, to electrode surface and the high conductivity. That means composition, max structure, and even high, of, of course, they result from intermolecular interaction is very important for controlling the properties of the electrolyte. And that is not only example using this uh, ternary electrolyte. We have found that the number of reactions are very efficient using this special electrolyte. You see here, for example, we we using another, you see, another catalyst, you see, we found that this electrolyte is also very efficient. The current density can, can be higher than 40. That is very high, and uh, you see, the selectivity, it can reach 97%. And uh, here, the cooperation of cat catalyst and the electrolyte is crucial for the very high efficiency. You see here, we know that we can also produce methanol using these electrolytes, the ternary electrolytes, because you see here, the, here is water, the amount of water you see here. If we know water, you see, the current density is lower, the, the, the selectivity is lower. If we add five percent of water you see here, the current density can be much higher and the selectivity can also be very high. That, you see, there are these, we, we just want to say, when we do some electrical chemical reduction, design catalyst is one important factor, but we should pay much attention to design of electrolyte that is dealing with solution chemistry. That is the topic of our conference today. That means solution chemistry is very important. You see here is not an example. I, I will not give detail you see here. In this electrolyte, you see, we can reach the reaction rate can be much higher than those reported in the literature. Of course, sometimes we, we, we can say we can also design some some uh, some, some catalyst using uh, the resolvent. For example, here I give one example using super critical fluid. We know that some catalyst the powers uh, with defect that kind of uh, catalyst. It's uh, very, very, very suitable for many reactions, but how to get that? We use su we use super critical fluid drying. Using conventional solvent, we can not get this kind of structure. But uh, when we drying that material using super critical fluid, super critical CO2, we can get this kind of special structure. You see the current density and the selectivity for metal. You see it's. Uh, very, very fast. That means designing the catalyst using the rune solvent is that also very important for electrical chemical reduction. And now I gave a number of, uh, a couple of examples for biomass uh, conversion in the rune solvent. That also we see here, I gave this example because we know that this phenol, 
we can get we know daily in paper industry in the world each year we produce 50 million tons of dignity that have not been used in business even they pollute the environment so but now we can get a signal but conventionally you see we we got the signal from uh, fossil resource mm -hmm. and now even now but we know that is a very important uh, intermediate for for some na nano uh, polymers that is but when we carry out this reaction that means you see always is the mainly of the product can be the least. And then we try to solve this problem. We design some pesticides using palladium and the Lewis acid. That is a very beneficial, very good, excellent synergetic effect for promoting this reaction. But here I would like to emphasize that this is solvent effect is very important. For example, in this conventional, commonly used organic solvent, this reaction did not occur. But in CO2, in compromised CO2, the year that can reach 100% very quickly. That means solvent effect is very important. So this type of reaction you see here, we show an example here, you see. Even at a very low temperature, in very short time, we can get 100% uh, conversion with activity. But in conventional solvent reaction, it does not occur. And also, we using Water and solvent, you see here is a deepening derived material chemicals. We can change chiton. That is very important reaction, but very difficult. Then by using catalyst and water, the special properties, and we can get this with very high efficiency. That means water. The water acts as solvent and reactant um, for, for promoting this interesting reaction. Here we promote some uh, mechanism and uh, here and also we know the lignin. You see, lignin, if we, we know that lignin is a very complex polymer. Pe we have done, and people, another people have done a lot of work on depolymerization of lignin. That then we got a number of chemicals, we have to separate them. If we can change lignin, if we can selectively change some group in the lignin into pure chemicals, then we can get pure chemicals from lignin. And we propose this idea and we found that this catalyst, catalytic system is efficient for this, only <coughs> this you see, acetate acid were obtained. And here the lignin changed into phosphophilic lignin. That's more useful than lignin. You see here, but I would I would like to emphasize that. If we, we use conventional organic solvent, we have to add some additive. But if we use ion liquid as the solvent, then we don't need any additive. That means the special properties of, of ion liquid, the special solvent effect is very favorable for this important reaction. You see here. You see, we can avoid the use. It's, uh, in it, we can avoid the use uh, additive if, if we use ion liquid. So of course, you see here this another example. You see ion liquid coupled with the metal catalyst. We get this special reaction. You see, the reaction pathway is very deep. If we change ion liquid into organic solvent, we do, we cannot get this very important chemical. That means we. Detailed study indicate that the reaction pathway in ion liquid was different from that in conventional solvent. That means you see CO CO two in conventional solvent they they end here, but here you see using ion liquid and here. That is why we can get this kind of reaction. That means solvent solvent effect is very important, and also this. It's not another example using ion liquid to carry out this reaction. People have done this kind of reaction for many years using metal catalyst. And we use ion liquid to replace using as both solvent and the catalyst, and the reaction can be carried out, can be conducted at solvent, at metal free conditions.
That is ideally, it's very important to see here we can, for replacing metal catalyst. And here I would like to mention that you see green solvent system have some unique properties. Actually, when we use green solvents, they always solution. You see, that means solution chemistry in organic solvent system is very important, but they, they have some special properties, but mainly special properties need to be studied further. And uh, this is uh, one point. Another is, is using the solvent effect of the green solvent. Many new process can be designed in, for example, in material synthesis, in chemical reactions, in some uh, separation processes, and that is we we I I think this is is also application of green solvent in green chemistry is also very interesting area, and finally I would like to thank. National Natural Science Foundation of China, Ministry of Science and Technology of China and Chinese Chemical Science. Of course, I would like to thank my colleagues and my students for their very hard work. And uh, here I would like to thank Green Chemistry in the future of chemistry and the chemical industry. And the solution, the solution chemistry is can contribute significantly to this interest in earlier and uh, finally I thank you very much for your kind attention. Thank you. Thank you for sharing uh, 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 your lecture. So we have a uh, plenty of time to accept uh, maybe the questions but uh, we are now on time. So. Thank you, sir. I am Omar Bokrunov from Uzbekistan. Uh, right now I'm working at Taji University of Science and Technology under uh, Professor Yangon. Uh, my question so, uh, is uh, you uh, proposed it uh, as a, a catalyst and a solvent. And uh, what about how many long lives uh, your proposed catalyst? How many risk have it been uh, your catalyst proposed by you? Thank you. What is the best times? How many times oh, can we use? Recycling. Yeah, right. right. Yeah. So re recycling. Uh, usually, we re re recycle. We catch <laughs> reactor. We use it. We re recover the catalyst, and uh, we usually we reuse that for more than five times. Five uh, times. More than five times, depending on the reaction system, but at least five o times. If, uh, the activity and the selectivity is not changed, uh, obviously we think that catalyst is, is uh, but uh, of course, for real application, we should recycle that more than, more than much more than that. Thank you, sir. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Other mm -hmm. uh, questions? Uh, thank you, Professor, uh, for your interesting comment. As you, uh, as you said, the conversion uh, of biomass lignin to acetic acid, so I think it is interesting. Uh, you convert the uh, uh, lignin uh, to, uh, uh, to acetic acid on the uh, carbon monoxide and hydrogen <laughs> on this atmosphere, and uh, the yield of acetic acid acetic acid in ten percent. So my question is, uh, what's the theoretical yield of acetic acid on the uh, uh, reaction condition? And then the second question is, uh, is, it, is it easy to recycle the catalyst? Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, thank you. And the uh, first question is, uh, you see, the actual the conversion is a, um, is a higher, you, because we only use, you see, the massive group. So because each gram of lignin, we can get uh, 0.2 gram of lignin, uh, acid, acid, actually about 95% conversion has, has been reached. Because only about 10 to 15% the group. We nearly change all of them into uh, acetic acid, acid here. 
You see, maybe you see here because the most significant the sprout that leaves they turn into more probably highly uh, high high hobby curve of uh, uh, ligand. Then the conversion is very high. And the selectivity is also very high. This liquid phase, the reaction mixture liquid phase. Only I think mm -hmm. I think I did have work detected. No, it's not sure. no any byproduct. Yeah. For the recycling of this, well, we didn't do that because uh, we uh, because we uh, we didn't do that because we use homogeneous uh analytic system here. But now we are we we in the morning we we design some uh, hydrogenic catalytic system that can be recycled. But here because this is the first work and I didn't following that we we record another system, but they can be recovered. But this one we didn't do the work for recycling of catalytic system. We just want to show the idea with the ligand. Deeper, you get a number of uh, chemicals. We want to show our idea that you see polymer. If we can change, convert selectively one group, then we can pure chemical. So. Okay. Any other questions? Okay. No. Yeah. <laughs> so thank you, Professor Yin. So. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh. Mm.